uh, heard that you been listening to that new BG? I've been, te- bruh, BG been going hard. Hey, that song he got with uh, Finesse two times. All that shit he got. That's, a, that's a, I ain't gonna lie. And that song he got with Boosie, I ain't gonna hold you. I keep telling Yego, like, bro, you gotta go listen to B- BG. Is one of the better hot boys rapping right now. I'm glad to share a name with him. I ain't gonna lie to you because he gave bangers. Uh, and I had to go hey, back when he got out. Hey. I had to go back and listen to his song. Fuck around and slide in the algorithm. You hear me? Hey, because I ain't gonna lie. I went back and looked to listen to some of his old songs, and I didn't it. like BG BG like I do now. Yeah, cause now I ain't gonna he's lie. out. The he song, the only shit. few songs I really liked back then he had was uh, on Chopper City. It's called Living Legend. Mm-hmm. I ain't even gonna lie. After, that was the first song I ever heard from him, like his old shit. So I clicked that, I listened to it, and then next thing you know, he came out with that song with Boosie. I'm like, this sounds like a, a updated version. I fucks with going it. hard. Did, did you listen to um to the Choppers and Bricks, the Gucci man? You know, Gucci put out a whole project with. I ain't gonna lie, Gucci was one of my favorite rappers growing up, but it's just like, you think he a clone? I don't think he a clone. It's just. I, I I fuck with Gucci. I fuck with Gucci for no matter what. My Instagram is Biggie Lafleur. I fuck with Gucci, but it's just like I outgrown listening to him like I used to. Yeah, it ain't. You know, it's different. It don't now. hit the same. Yeah, for sure. See, for, <laughs> see, for me, he's not. He's not the Gucci he was before. He's he mature. He's a mature Gucci. He's evolved. So, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, in a in a sense. You see his new because, album cover because because when you think because in, in a sense you can say he matured and the reason why I say that is because not everything uh, is how can I how can I how, he have his moments yeah he yeah, got that's his moments. why I say he evolved he evolved which is okay with that because I don't have a problem with an evolved artist I don't have a problem with that. Okay, I'm gonna use Jeezy for prime example. I see what you're saying. I know everybody's gonna wait. You no, know yeah. what? I'm glad. Listen, that's what. I was, that's how hold I, on, wait. I, I had, hold on. I had, I, had, I, got, I got. I had to find a way to break it down. That's, I'm glad. That's, go ahead. Use Jeezy as, a, as an example. Jeezy. <clears throat> I'm about to show you niggas how to end the show. I'm about to show you niggas how to end a motherfucking show. Go ahead. <laughs> Jeezy. <clears throat> Jeezy. Has always given you this street dope boy, corporate. Uh, mentality, attitude, whatever. When he come in his songs and shit, that's how he came through the door. That's how he came through the door, and he maintained that. Gucci started off as a kick door artist, and then all of a sudden he was the trap guy. Became, but he he was never known for trapping. Never known for trapping. He started off jacking shit. Mm-hmm. Needless to say, though, his style of music up until his the point where he was gone for what it was, was though three years right however long he was gone I want to say it was three years however this, this, okay this, we talking about fat 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 Gucci you know pill popping uh, uh, disrespectful uh, that Gucci mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so if you listen to that if you listen to his music prior to that prior to him going in mm-hmm. it's different yeah mm-hmm. it's really different I'm glad you touched his, on him, that. Him just popping this shit is not the same. Mm-hmm. It's corporate. It's polished. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's not raw, not cut no more. Yeah, it's polished. Yeah. And so, but if I listen to Jeezy, though, I feel like I get the same Jeezy every trip. Yeah, because Jeezy, no, even, listen. Even, even when, and, and I ain't going to lie to you, for a moment, that recession too, mm-hmm. I'm like... Listen, Jeezy, this last project Jeezy put trash. out, I ain't gonna lie. the last project <laughs> Jeezy put out is the perfect evolution of a nigga that can reminisce on what he was like in the streets, mm-hmm. but now he can speak from a bossed up standpoint. You know what I mean? Like what? when you hear it, he's re- you. it sounds like he's reminiscing and he's not trying to relive. You feel me? That's the right. key thing about him. So, boom. And while we're on the subject about Young Jeezy, that was my closing topic. I'm going to bring it in like this. It says, Jenny Mai tries blocking prenup enforcement. She claims she didn't have time to read it thoroughly. That's what I asked get. That's what I asked get. Hold on, man. Listen, I'm glad you said something about a laugh button because yeah. we don't use this nowhere near as much as we really should. We're going to bring this back. That's what our dumbass get. I paid credit for it. Can we say, 
Like a she grade was schooler. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, she was she acting said, like a grade schooler. <laughs> she said she didn't have time to read it. Fuck it, it's your fault. My dog That's what ate get. Like, what now you, why you, why, this is my thing I don't understand. You, you you're not about to, who are the, who why you the wanted, lawyer here? Where, where are the lawyers listen, at? Don't you have a lawyer you're here? You're not about to use your Chinese privilege over here. Like, why are you trying to get sorry. a check for somebody you was fucking? Like, that don't make no damn sense. But see, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you to get the, the kickback behind that is this. Like, cause I'm, I have like one of the biggest crushes on Jenny. Okay, go ahead. All right. So with that being said, right, when she was married to the white dude, mm-hmm. I don't even remember that. Okay, she was married to the, she was married to the white dude. She got divorced, and that's how she ended up, uh, really kicking off with Jesus. Oh, I know you're talking about. But she, uh, she was already saying how cool they were. Mm-hmm. So based off of her relationship prior to them taking it a step further is why she signed that prenup because she thinking ain't shit going to go wrong with this nigga. Mm-hmm. I've been knowing him. Do You know what I'm saying? He cool. This is my baby daddy. This is my first child. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. And she just got pregnant. Well, she just had the baby or whatever, but she was head over heels about the nigga. He played chess. Let me get that so out based way. off of her, so based off of how her relationship with the, with him and how comfortable she felt with him is why she felt the she felt the need to sign it because she ain't think it was gonna ever come to this point. Mm-hmm. Now that it did, and now she got this baby, she trying to she trying to figure out whatever reason. Oh, uh, I didn't know the baby involved. Okay, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. she got, I didn't. Oh, I didn't got, even know. I didn't even know. know. But they even got a little girl. the baby is nor here nor there. Listen, this is how it goes. If you didn't read that, that's because you didn't take... There ain't no such thing as I didn't have enough time. Oh, there God. was no shot clock that said five, four, yeah. three, two, one. Sign it. I don't care what you... put to, Pencils down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this ain't one of them type of tests where yeah. you have a... You had more... You just decided... That's This is just cap, period. Fuck that. You know what you signed up uh-huh. for. Yeah. You knew when you came into this that's shit. That's why I said what I said. And she's being petty. Let's give a round of applause for Jeezy. For Not, that's smart. Demo- that's that's it. That, that, this shit is just about a, a somebody being petty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say, she a, she's a woman. Because but, you that's have, a, but that's a woman for you. you know because it's not like you broke. Yeah. What if she like emotionally agreed to it? And then she took it to her lawyer, and her lawyer's like, "Girl, what the fuck did you sign?" Shit, that, and now she's trying to back up on it. Like I'm just saying, that might it might not just be her worried about the bag. She might just be realizing that maybe he's got a badass prenup to where she, she ain't gonna get shit. Mm-hmm. Like it's a it's a zero. Yeah. It ain't like you get a little something if 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 we get divorced, she might be completely out the, the door with nothing if something. Let happens. me tell you why. Let me tell you why they're probably not gonna let that fly. Oh no, I'm not saying it's gonna fly. I'm no, I know, but I'm telling you, I'm just saying. In her shoes. Do you know why they're probably not gonna let that fly? Because if they let that fly, every artist, every rapper, every country singer, every pop star, every tennis player, every person that got to deal with Nike or Adidas or da 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 or da, all they gotta say now is they have enough time to uh, they have enough You're time right. to read it, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. You can't set Real that talk. precedent. I don't know if it, but that's and, why, and, and that's we, why a lot of them. That's why a lot of them poses have a. That's what a contract's for. But, but we that's, all but, know, that's, but that's what they have. But that's, that's a what for an attorney. That's what a and what is for. and what is marriage? And a what contract. is marriage? <laughs> a contract. That's a contract. Why to have an attorney. A legal binding contract. Yeah, man, you signed up for that shit. You I know what you was in. What you was in it for, man. It is what it is. I hope you don't get a dime. And like my nephew said, let's give a round of applause for young motherfucking Jesus. Yeah, he ain't got to wait for that little extra little 150 mil like uh buddy from Miami right. Heat, did right. he? I was about to say, that's two episodes in a row where we got I'm telling you, man, listen, man, in there. The, look, the <laughs> Men Too movement is up. <laughs> the Men Too movement is I'm all, up. I'm you all for it, bro, because I'm tired of seeing all these, these, these niggas that's valuable in life. They got good careers and all this shit. Yeah. They, they wife's trying to take, like Dr. Dre. You feel she me? wanted, she wanted mm. in there, all that nigga. Shit. Yeah, it's just like, why did you? She this, wanted two million dollars a month. It's maybe because of how I am. It, it's, it's probably because I am, but I don't look at love like hey, that. Like it's not supposed to be a check. Hold on, it's listen. Ridiculous. But Let she me. wanted two million a month. That no, 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 no. That wasn't that, that, that was just Wait, that that alimony. That, yeah, that wasn't okay. for living expenses. That was just that's what she just she just wanted that she, a month. Ooh. I did something just dined on me, y'all. 
and we about to have to wrap this shit up because we 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 really yeah, we're, we're, we're ten clock, minutes we're over. over yeah. We're ten minutes over. So <laughs> this is what I'm gonna say. Think about this, but we probably not because I started a little bit early. Yeah, we're we're right on time. Okay, so check dig. Do y'all remember on Stay Scheming? <clears throat> Drake said that Kobe's wife was about to get 150 M's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kobe, my nigga, I hate it happened to him. Bitch, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Oh. Bitch, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Yeah. Think about this. Kobe's dead now. Who does all that money go to? Shit. Mm. She got more than 150 M's. Mm. All right, man, listen. She got this just is... that from the body armor deal. Didn't See you? what I'm saying? Listen, Ooh. check this out. We had a great pot. I'm leaving that for y'all to think on. We ain't even going to talk about that. Just Ooh. sit on that as, well, as, as well I do the outro. You hear me? Damn. Shit crazy, ain't it? The, the mm. things that make you go, hmm. hmm. So listen. <laughs> I appreciate you coming in and filling in, man. Oh, no problem, brother. Um, appreciate you having me, man. Um, we might as well go ahead and announce it now. We just been waiting for bruh to get out of jail. He got a podcast coming on the network called Simply Complicated. Yeah. Be on the lookout on for that. You, for sure, hey, you hear me? Show, man. Yeah, for so sure, that's we've been sitting on that for a minute. Now that he's here, we're Simply here. Complicated. So um and as you can see, he's built for it. You hear it. He can go forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Respectfully. My Respectfully, nigga, he can get yo. it in. He got a life, lot of life experience, and um, he got something to bring to the network. So I like um, the sound of that. 